it's time to open one. I had a good feeling. There he is. Adam Warlock. Oh, uh -huh. righty. Can't, I can't say that. I'm not too good Who's here. Who's coming with the wings? <laughs> Oh, watch the screen. Right. It's, yeah, sorry. Okay. Oh, right. Oh, replica. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna figure this something out. Yeah. This is gonna be interesting here. This booster right here is by far way better. And I think the more of Alright, so these are the 10 figures I have here. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna play. And it's not gonna be easy. All right, so this yeah. is my Maybe sealed 400-point yeah. team, and it actually comes right out to I 400. Figures if I, um, I like Blastar, but uh, Adam Warlock, we're going to see how he does. I like the Psychic Blast and Perplex. Carry in, two, four, six. And then the other one's the right here. Would you frown upon that? Oh, okay. I was about to say Oh, we're having some fun now. We're having some fun now. Perplex up is uh, perplex up her defense to an 18. And I'll clear. Blast. I mean, I'll give these cats their tokens. He's got his guys set up in the goal line defense. And you guys, and yours set up for like quarterback sneak. Yeah. I'm gonna carry uh, her. Maybe something like. Is... Are, are you a colossal giant? What's the deal with that? No, I did not pick either, so okay. I am just normal. Yeah, I love that stranger. And it's like the dorkiest costume ever, and this is so much awesome. I keep expecting them to run up and beat up Hulk Hogan. It's great. Brother! <laughs> the stranger versus Hollywood. Perplex up my attack. No, my damage to a five. I'll run and shot. Yikes. I'm gonna attack Doombot and. Okay. Doombot has scroll and shape change. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so I'm gonna roll. Next. Yeah, you get to choose which one you Shape want. change. Shape change, so five or six. Five. Okay, so that's not gonna work. So I'll attack on. Only Astral? Yep. 11 on 17. Super senses. It's gonna hit. Super senses. No, for four damage. Thanks. I think he's out. Probably is all he's good for. Astral Strange is KO'd. Alright. I'm gonna clear the rest of them. I think I'm seven away. What I like to do is choose Colossal. Okay. And I would have a lot of fire. You would have a lot of fire. Last R. I will outwit your invulnerability. Okay. And attack there. Uh, 10 on a. Is that 19 or 18? Oh, it would be an 18, but plus 19, yeah, for the hindering. And then 19 for 4 damage. That's a hit. For 4. Last R. I was hoping you wouldn't hit that 9. <laughs> but that's about my luck the whole oh, I meant the tournament. I will... Stop there. I'll just clear my other two. Alright, because you're colossal, I can see that. I'm going to perplex my attack up to... An on 11. Uh, I'm going to Psychic Blast on Stranger with uh, Perplexed up to an 11 attack. Uh, 19, is that correct? Yeah, so we need 8. 9 or 17. That's a mess. Did he get the hindering bonus? 1. So you get to see a little bit of my Infinity Gauntlet Month 4 where it was sealed. You get to see my boosters. I didn't really think I got that good of pulls. I mean, I got two Blastars. Adam Warlock, but the common one says run his shots like a blast perplex, which I thought was pretty decent. And a couple other figures in there, uh, Ravenous, and you know, it's just some odds and ends there. I tried to put it together something that would work, and it was pretty difficult because I didn't really have any power cosmic figures, and I knew I was gonna have to go against some really nasty figures like Morg and the the rare Adam Warlock with the Outwit team abilities and uh, outwit defenses. That figure was nasty. And my first match, I played Andrew, and it was going pretty good, but I chose to go after Adam Warlock instead of Morg, and that was the fatal down point on that match because I eventually got him on the cocoon and could not get past that. And I didn't realize Morg's style, you know, I saw the hypersonic and I thought, ah, you know, he's probably got that for a couple more clicks but he really doesn't. So who knows what that first match would have went. 
So I lost their first match. I won my second match, and then the match that you just saw was my third and final match, and uh, I lost that one as well. And basically, that aggressive move with Blastar, and um, it wasn't that effective, as you saw that he rolled Shape Change, and then I only did damage to Astral, which all he is is a tie-up piece at, on this team. And um, he rolled a, you know, a 9 to hit um, Blastar from that area. Didn't think he was going to do it. I knew that I was going to leave myself open, but when he uh, chose not to do Colossal or not, he was behind a wall, and I had no other choice but to try to break the wall down because uh, he had Gamora and then he had a scroll which was stealthy so the front line was all stealthy and um, so that didn't work on the first attack so then I tried to come in with Adam Warlock the Psychic Blast and didn't get the roll there either uh, you know then after that I just went down so if you want to see the rest of that I will post the final of that video but it wasn't my best game but uh, it's fun um, so hopefully you guys enjoy your month four. I didn't have such a good luck in month four myself, but um, I will recap this week's. I played Mole Man and Giganto and Carnage, and I went two and one. That actually was really fun. I almost almost went three and zero, oh, but I went up against uh, Deadpool and Cable with the Gauntlet, and I got him on click ten, but he rolled six on uh, regeneration, and then it was just too much because with uh, Deadpool and Cable they're able to phase up and then duo attack and I mean there's not much you can do with that they're most likely going to get their first attack off and if you know the team Carnage, Mole Man, the new Mole Man which was a really good figure and Giganto uh, they don't have that big of mobility even though Giganto has the teleport where he can uh, phase 10 and then come up and quake uh, that's only 10 movement. Deadpool and Cable, they have 10 movement, and then they have like 8 range to do 2 shots. And they have 11 attack, I believe. And they're like 4 damage. It's, it's a nasty figure. I tried my best there, but um, anyways, it's fun. Went up against a Nightcrawler and Bullseye team, fielded by a bunch of AIM agents. I was able to um, win that match, but it was very difficult. Uh, Giganto went down, but the Mole Man and Carnage mind control. What you would do is, um, or what I did was, I would outwit combat reflexes on Bullseye, charge up, attack with Carnage, and then that happens, and then mind control him again to attack again. And then you can do this again next turn because you just push Carnage, and then you mind control him again. So anyways, the Mole Man is extremely extremely good and I definitely recommend you trying him out on a monster team um, but it's a really good power and he's very pushable and he starts out without wit for two clicks and then after that he gets willpower so that you can just keep on just doing it um, it's really good and uh, Carnage is a good figure to pair him up with because after his first click he has flurry and he has steel energy so it's just like you're gonna stay in your top dial or top two clicks the whole time and my first match uh, yesterday it was against the Loki um, chase figure with power cosmic and mystics that was also a figure with the gauntlet and the moment team was able to win that one but it was was very close and uh, it was really good I, I really like the moment a lot so hopefully that gives you guys a little bit of insight. I've been slacking on these videos, but that the Mole Man team was last night's tournament, two and one, pretty good, fun team. And uh, last week was Inf Infinity Gauntlet Month Four as my SEAL team that didn't do that well. But um, yeah, if you want to see the full video match of the Infinity Gauntlet Month Four, let me know, and I'll start finishing up the editing on that. Take it easy, guys, and have a good week.